Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this uh, pandemic and I hope that everyone is learning is ready to learn today uh, something new. So today is a basic lesson but I'm doing something different for a change. Okay. So as many of you know I learn Korean, which is, you know, people learn Korean. However, when I learned it, I learned it a different way. And I'm going to show you and I'm going to give you a tip as to how you can learn English or any other language by using your native language. But first, if you like what, I, what, uh, what I'm doing, give me a big thumbs up hit that bell notification, and of course, subscribe, you know. I need more and more subscribers so that I know that what I'm doing is what everyone likes, okay. And please uh, comment if you have any suggestions or ideas or you just want to say hello. That's up to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you okay, how to read Korean. Now, some people may say, I don't need to learn Korean. No, you don't need to learn Korean. You can if you want to. The point is, what I'm actually trying to teach you today is how you use your native language to learn another language. Association. Okay, when, when you use association, it helps you to understand stuff. So, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. The Korean alphabet is not, a, B, is not the same order as our alphabet. It doesn't start with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No. They do have the same uh, al alphabet, mostly, as us. It's just the order is different. So I learned the Korean alphabet not the way that Korean children learn it, but I learned it in association with the American alphabet. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you could see the board, the Korean alphabet. So this is A, of course. This symbol means A. B. This upside down symbol looks like is B. Okay, C. Korean does not have C. They use this symbol, which is like a G or a K. Okay. D. This symbol here is a D. E. This symbol is an E. F. Koreans do not have F. They do not have that. So instead they use P. Now it may be a little difficult because for Fuji Apple they might call it Puji Apple. Okay. G, this is a G. Okay. H. So a man wearing a hat is an H. You see what I mean by word by association? Okay. I. This is I. J, this is J. K, now sometimes they just use this for K, sometimes they use this for K. I only put it there so you know you don't get confused. Okay. L, looks like a 2. M, looks like a square. N, looks like a right angle. Okay. O, Looks like an upside down T. P looks like the pi symbol. See? Association. Q. They do not have Q in the Korean language. So they generally use the K. Okay. R, again, looks like an upside down 2. Okay. S. Looks like an upside down Y. T actually looks similar to an E. U looks like 
looks like a T. V, they do not have V. So they can either use the B or sometimes they'll use the P. Depends. Okay, now, I need to explain W, X, Y, and Z. So X they don't have, so what they do is X, Y. That's how they do it. Okay. W, they do not have stand alone. For example, this is Y. Okay. This would be we. Okay. So they use, they don't have standalone W. Okay. Same thing with the Y. So I'm just giving you an example. This is this is yo and this is you. They do not have, which is Y-O or Y-U, they do not have a standalone Y. Z, they do not have. They use the J symbol. Now, why is this a problem? Okay, I will explain to you why this is a problem. So, for example, zoo. Okay, now, if you translate this, They would say Jew instead of Sue. See, that's a problem. Now, remember, I told you I always tried to give you some tips. Okay. Please take a screenshot of this. This is going to help you. Okay. Like I said, my my idea is not to teach you Korean. My idea is to show you how you can use your language with the English language. It'll help you. Now, for me, because I learned this myself. I did this my, myself. And then I went around to different places and I started reading all the signs. Okay, If you can read it, you can learn it faster. Okay. If you know how to associate things, you can associate it, you can learn it faster. For example, let's say you wanted to write cat. That would be cat. See? That's the C, the A, and the T. So you can actually translate English words into Korean and vice versa. Now that doesn't mean that that's in Korean, that's no. In Korean, Goyangi is cat. My point is, if you learn how to put the two languages together, or any two languages together, you use association, it helps you. Notice that the C looks like a 7. And the K looks like a 7. And when we use the Q, it looks like a 7. And the G. So, how do you know which one it is? That's the point. The C and the K have the same sound. So, it doesn't matter whether you use cat C-A-T or cat K-A-T. Okay. One of the problems is the L and the R. Which one is it? L or R? I can tell you that most of the Koreans, they use L, not R. Again, very similar. Also, the vowels are a little different. For example, this is the I for Korean has pronunciation of E. So the pronunciation is different. Okay, I'm not getting into the pronunciation. Oh, and they also have a few more. EU looks like a dash. OE looks like a sideways T. Okay. This one is important. NG is an O and CH over here. Now why is the NG important? 
because Korean has to start with a consonant. So for example, okay, if you want to say at, okay, you could do it this way, at. You have to start with this. This is nothing. However, if you want to do it at the end, like gang, at the end it's ng. At the beginning it's a place marker. Again, my goal here is not necessarily to teach you Korean. My goal here is to show you how you can combine your knowledge of your native language, whatever that may be, whether it's Spanish, uh, Mandarin, Turkish, it doesn't really matter. If you can associate things together, you can learn more things. For example, in Korean, I go. Okay? I go. It doesn't mean I go. It means <sighs> like that. But to remember it, you could, you could think of I go. I and go. So, like I said, word association or vowel association, whatever you want to call it, it's still association. It still helps you to learn a second language when you're using your first language as the basis for the second language. Okay. I thank you. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like what you, what you see. Please hit that bell notification and please subscribe. You know my goal is to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. Stay tuned till tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be doing a special lesson about Halloween. I thank you and stay safe.